could end up being both a blessing and a curse. Tonight, why gas prices falling below a dollar a gallon could both hurt and help Metro Detroiters. Interesting question posed here to start things off at 5.30. These are unusual times. A trip to the gas station has changed, changed dramatically over these past six months, no it doubt. It is kind of strange. You yeah. fill up and you kind of get so excited <laughs> to see exactly how much you're going to save. The current national average is $1.69 a gallon with drivers in Michigan paying a buck fifty, But prices could soon fall below $1 a gallon. You know, but it's not always the best thing for some reasons why. We turn to Local 4 business editor Rod Maloney. He joins us live in Detroit. Okay, Rod, explain. <laughs> well, here's the thing, and, I, and I'm the guy that tends to throw the wet blanket on the party. But here we are. It's a dollar sixteen a gallon here. I paid a dollar thirty-one yesterday. Thought I died and gone to heaven. Well, it's dollar sixteen here, and uh, the place is going crazy as a result. But this is a sign of things that aren't right in the global economy. Awesome! One sixteen. It's worth standing in the cold to go ahead and fill you up for one sixteen a gallon. It's Valentine's weekend and feeling like a holiday at the pump. They're going to be very happy because mom got some little extra cash today. Yes. Yay! It's more than likely with every gasoline tanker we see pulling into a station for delivery that we're going to get to under a dollar gallon gasoline soon, which is taking us back to the early 80s and late 70s. And while we're enjoying that extra jingle in our pockets now, sadly this whole scene is the result of a larger supply and demand issue that may very well cause us trouble down the road. Our energy boom of the past year, like in the Bakken fields in North Dakota, gave the U.S. the opportunity to become an oil exporting nation instead of the other way around. Not a hit with Saudi Arabia. It wants to prevent that, so they've been pumping oil feverishly, flooding the market so much that a barrel of oil costs less than the barrel it's contained in. But when oil prices sink, it makes the economies of oil-dependent nations around the globe like Russia, Venezuela, and Brazil see their economies start to look like ours did seven years ago. Plus, China's economy is slowing, which means it doesn't need to use as much oil. And the global economy slows down with all of this, and when that happens, it's not too long before it slows our economy as well. Take a look at this line. It is gas lines in 2016 because people want in on this bonanza. But here's the thing, the Saudi Arabian uh, oil producers want to see our businesses out of business. So what we're seeing now are jobs lost in Bakken, jobs lost all across the country as layoffs go ahead. And now we're also looking at the possibility of some severe bankruptcies in the energy space. That is not good for our economy, considering we've only been under 1% of GDP over the last quarter, and actually the last year. So things are not looking good, and this is not good recessionary type problems that we're looking at right now, even though we have a little jingle in our pocket this week. Back to you. It is important to look at the long term, Rod. What are experts saying? How long are we going to see these prices continue? Well, you know, I can tell you that Wall Street is, uh, you know, waiting every day thinking this is going to stop, that this, this foolishness can end. But the fact of the matter is that there is so much oil. There are oil tankers out in the ocean full of oil that they can't even bring into port because there's so much oil to be had around. So for the time being, it's looking like perhaps a few months, six months, maybe even a year before we see this abate. All right. Rod Maloney reporting live for us tonight from Detroit. Thank you, Rod.